You know what I should start doing? I should start going to a town in the middle of nowhere and start looking for some romance there. Because why not? You can find love absolutely anywhere. Hey everyone, this is Rabius Blog, and welcome to my TV at the Moment series. So my TV at the Moment series is a brand new series I just started up, where I review TV shows that's currently runny, and it can range from TV seasons to TV specials. And even though I want to go more into depth with this series, I know you guys are just here for the review, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump straight to the review, and here we go. So today's TV show that I'll be reviewing today is Virgin River Season 1, and before I get into my thoughts about the show, here are a few words from this channel. Hey guys, if you want to check out more content from this channel, then tune in every Sunday and Monday for new videos. And if you happen to see any videos posted up during the week, that means that there was a bit of movie and TV news that I wanted to talk about, so those will be considered special videos. And if you want to chat with me on social media or see when new videos are being released, then follow me through Twitter and Facebook. And also, please feel free to join the new Facebook group, Rabbit Ears Blocks Reviews 2.0, where we talk about movies, TV shows, and video games with other fans of the genres. And now, we return to our regularly scheduled program. So Virgin River is a new series that just aired on Netflix, and it's based off of Robin Carr's books. And basically what the series is all about is about a young woman named Mel who goes to the town of Virgin River to become the new midwife for Doc. But it turns out that Mel and Doc don't really get along with each other because Doc doesn't want Mel to do any of the major things with the doctoring while Mel wants to be able to expand her field into doctoring and be able to do more than just be a midwife. Meanwhile, at the same time, Mel ends up falling in love with a young man named Jack who ends up having his own troubled past dealing with the war. And she also becomes fast friends with Jack's friends Preacher and Brady. And along the way, Mel starts discovering dark secrets about the citizens of Virgin River. So what are my thoughts about this season so far? I really enjoyed the season of Virgin River. Now, I will be honest with you guys. I never read any books that was written by Robin Carr. I have read a couple books written by Lisa Kleypas and Teresa Menderes. But I never read any books by Robin Carr. But after watching this show, I think I'm going to start reading some books by Robin Carr in the near future. But yeah, I've really been enjoying this season. I like the way that the characters are being developed, and I like some of the twists and turns they take with the plot story. I also like the relationships between some of the characters, especially between Mel and Doc, as they started off the season not getting along with each other because they both wanted to become doctors, but neither one wants to work with the other. But as the season progresses, we start to see Mel and Doc starting to get along with each other, and they start to find some common ground with each other, which I like the way that the season was able to handle all that. And then I also thought that Hope was a very interesting character. Like, she seems to be that type of character who wants to get involved in everybody's business, but sometimes she starts learning the hard way that she shouldn't get involved in everybody's business, and she should just let everybody work out their problems on their own. And then I also like the relationship between Mel and Jack. I like how Jack is nothing but supportive of Mel when she first got to town, and I like how Mel tries to help Jack out any way she can, especially when dealing with his war nightmares that he has every night and how the war has affected Jack as a person. I also like the character of Preacher. Like, he may seem like this character who's just introduced as being mean towards Brady or blaming Brady for what happened during the war, but I am interested with his relationship with Paige, and I like to see where their relationship is going to go further on. And then I like the fact that this is a romance series. I usually like watching a lot of romance TV shows because romance is my thing. I love watching romance TV shows. And this is one of those type of shows. So I definitely went into this thinking that I'm going to really enjoy this series because of that aspect. Now, if I had a problem with the show, it mostly had to deal with how the characters were being handled towards the end of the season. And that was having an obligatory love triangle between Charmaine, Jack, and Mel. And then having one of the characters not really tell each other the truth at the very beginning. Now, I usually don't like love triangles in general. So that's why I didn't like the whole love triangle between Jack, Mel, and Charmaine. And how it just came into the show suddenly. And I was really liking the relationship that was starting up between Jack and Mel. But then when they introduced Charmaine, it's like, oh no, we gotta have the obligatory love triangle between Charmaine, Jack, and Mel to make this season more interesting. And I just don't see that. Like, I never see why we had to introduce a love triangle to a series when just having drama between two people is enough to stir up some drama with the show. 
And then there was that issue towards the end of the season when one of the characters didn't tell each other the truth. And that ended up putting a strain on their relationship, which I didn't really like. Because I'm one of those people who's like, you know, just tell that person that you love the truth from the very beginning. Don't struggle with it. Like, I can understand there's, like, situations where you can't really tell a person the truth at the very beginning because you're not sure how that person's going to react or that truth is just too painful for you to relate to that person. But in the case here, it's like, yeah, you could have told this person the truth at the very beginning instead of waiting until the last second to tell the person the truth and then ruin everything between you and that person. But those are some of the gripes that I have with this season, and it just mostly had to deal with the tail end of the season rather than the whole season itself. So my overall rating for Virgin River Season 1 is watch it.